CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to make this really cool little pattern I came up with. For right now I'm just calling it the honeycomb pattern because it's going back and forth. It is uh, a two row repeat and this pattern is worked in multiples of six plus one. Let's get into our materials. So for our materials today I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook. So I'm using a smaller hook than what my yarn calls for. I'm using some Dollar Tree yarn and white, and um, then I'm using uh, some purple yarn, and it's just Michael's brand of yarn that I'm using for that. I can't remember the name of it. Um, and then you will need a pair of scissors. Um, this could be done in one color, um, but if you want these, um, these rows right here with the puff stitches to pop out, then you might want to consider using an alternating color. However, when you use an alternating color, then you get these ends you have to work in. Um, but uh, it's still just so beautiful. So, but if you wanted to do a solid color, um, then you would not have to work in these ends. So, or you could do a variegated yarn that changes colors as you go. And that would probably be really well for getting these puffs to stand out as well if you know the colors change as it goes, okay? So, but to really make them pop, you definitely want color change. However, you could do it in one. This stitch would make a beautiful shawl or a scarf. Um, it would also make a beautiful blanket. You could do anything with this stitch. It could make a beautiful purse as well. So um, that's what you could do with it. And so if um, you are changing colors, then you will need a darning needle to work in your ends as well. And you'll need it anyway to work in your ends. So, okay, let's get into the tutorial. And if for any reason you're not familiar with any of the stitches that we're doing in this video, please refer to my crochet beginner video below and it will teach you how to do all these stitches. Also, I'd like to say, please like, share, and subscribe. If that helps so much. Please hit that bell below and you'll get notified for all my future videos. If you like my videos, then you'll know whenever a new one is coming out and sharing my video with any friends, crochet groups, or family, that really helps out a bunch, bunch. So I really appreciate it. So I'm gonna start with my solid color and the purple uh, color here. And I'm using the white in the middle, as you saw. And we're gonna do multiples of six, six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have 36, and then I'm going to chain one. And then in the fourth chain from the hook, I'm gonna put one double crochet. One, two, three, and four. So in that fourth chain, I'm gonna put a double crochet. And then I'm gonna put double crochets all the way down. Okay, so we've worked our double crochets all the way down. Being that you're using a smaller hook, you will see a little bit of curvature, that's fine. It'll work out okay in the end. Then you're going to chain one and turn your work. And in the first three stitches here, including this first one right here, we're going to put a half double crochet. So right over where we, we did the one uh, chain and then we turned, we're still gonna put a half double crochet right here. So one, and then another half double crochet in the next, and then another half double crochet. Then you're going to chain three, and you're gonna skip five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to do a half double crochet into the sixth stitch. And then you're going to chain two. And then you're going to do another half double crochet. Okay. Then you're going to repeat that. You're going to chain three. You're going to skip five. One, two, three, four, five. And in the sixth stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet chain two, and another half double crochet. Then again, chain three, skip five, one, two, three, four, five, into the sixth stitch, put a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Chain three, Skip one, two, three, four, five, go into the sixth stitch, put a half double crochet, 
chain two, and another half double crochet. And then again, chain three, skip five, one, two, three, four, five, go into the sixth, put a half double crochet, but instead of working a V-stitch now, this is gonna count as one of your last three half double crochets. So then you're going to put a half double crochet in your next stitch and a half double crochet in the next. So then you end with three half double crochets and you have begun with three half double crochets. And that will stay the same throughout this pattern, okay? So now you're going to chain one and turn your work and again, you're going to do three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Then you're going to work around this post right here. So this first post that we see right here, where we worked our Vs, we're gonna work around this first one. So I'm gonna turn my work to the side I'm gonna use my nail here to pick this up right here, and I'm gonna be working around this post, okay? So I'm gonna chain one, and you're gonna do that on this row, you're gonna chain one in between all of these. You're gonna go right around this post and work five half double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we did our five half double crochets around this post. So now we're going to turn our work this way and we're going to work five half double crochets around the other post right here. So yarn over, go into that and do one. But if you can see the way I'm turning my work, that matters, okay? So let me just start again because this is where things can get a little confusing. If I yarn over and start and go through this way like this, it's not gonna look right, okay? It's gonna look weird. You need to turn your work this way so that you can get from this side of this post here. And then do your five half double crochets like this. One, two, three, four, and five, okay? And then when you come up, this is what you get. You get this little shell-like pattern here, okay? So then you're going to chain one and you're gonna skip, skip right over to your next V-stitch and do the same thing. So I'm gonna go right around this post right here and work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm going to turn my work this way and go around this post with five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? Just like that. And again to the next. One, did I chain one? Gotta make sure we chain one and don't forget like me. <laughs> and again, working around this post, five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then if I go in through this way, I just wanna show you what would it look like if you did it this way. Two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's what happens when you go through that way. It turns your work and makes it come down and looks almost like a little swivel so you don't want that. And I just wanted to show you, if you're doing it wrong, that's what it's gonna look like, okay? So after you complete these five half double crochets on this post, you just turn your work like this and work around this one. 
And I'm just reiterating that because I wanna make sure that you get yours right. Two, three, four, and five. Then again, remember to chain one and working into the next one. Turning my work. Okay, just like that. And so on this first row here, you're gonna have four of these little shell stitches here, okay? So then you're going to chain one again, and then you're going to do your three half double crochets, okay? So go right into here, one half double crochet, right here, another half double crochet, and in your last stitch, don't forget this one, make sure to work another half double crochet, but I'm gonna change colors. So I'm not gonna finish that half double crochet all the way. I'm gonna bring in my white, <clears throat> because this is when I'm gonna start doing those puff stitches in between. So I'm gonna bring in my white color. I'm just gonna tie it off in the back. And then you can go ahead and co uh, cut off your purple, whatever color you're using. So then we're going to take the white and we're going to chain one and we're going to turn our work. And this is what it looks like from the back side. And then we're going to do our three half double crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. Now for our next round, and this is gonna make some more sense as we go along, but after this one, when we go back to do another round of our um, shell stitches, instead of having four, we're gonna have three. So in every other row, it's going to be one less. So in the next one, there'll be three, and the next one, there'll be four, and the next one, there'll be three. And that's how you get that honeycomb look. So to do that, there's gonna be a little bit of changing up as you go, okay? But for this round, what we're gonna do, after we do our three half double crochets, we're going to chain two. We're gonna go right into the top of where this shell is, this chain space right here, and we're going to work a shell. And to do that, we're going to do five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then I'm gonna pull out my loop. I'm gonna go right back here to my first double crochet that I did, put my hook through, put this loop back onto my hook, and then pull through for a shell. Now you could do a normal shell stitch for this. <clears throat> I mean, puff stitch, excuse me. But I find that these really stick out a lot better. And for the purpose of this uh, pattern, I think it looks a lot better to do this one, okay? Then you're going to chain two. Then you're gonna go into this space right here in between these two shells. We're not working on this chain space, this chain three space. We're working in this chain space in between these. And right into there, we're gonna do a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. And we're going to chain two again. And then right here in this space where the shell is, we're going to put another puff stitch. So right here, we're going to do five double crochets again. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull out our loop, go back to this first stitch, put our hook in, put the loop back onto our hook and pull through. Then chain two again. Then we're gonna go into this space right here in between these shells and we're going to work a V-stitch. So we're gonna half double crochet 
chain two, and do another half double crochet. Then we're going to chain two again. And in this shell stitch space right here, we're going to put another puff. So five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. You're gonna pull out your loop, go to the first stitch here, go through, pull that loop back onto your hook, and then pull through. Then you're going to chain two. Then you're gonna go into this space right here, and you're gonna work another V stitch. So do a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. And then we need to work one more puff stitch right here. So chain two, go into the middle of your shell stitch and do five double crochets. Two, three, four, and five, okay? Pull that loop up, go into your first stitch, your double crochet there, put your hook through, put the loop back on your hook, and pull through. Then you're going to chain two, and then you're going to put your three double, uh, half double crochets right here. One, two, and three. But instead of finishing that third half double crochet, now I'm going to bring in my purple. Now, as you can see, we have one, two, three V stitches that we've worked here because in our next row, we're only gonna be working three of these puffs that, I mean, three of the shell stitches that we did before, okay? And that's the one thing that changes. So we're gonna cut off our white, bring our purple back. We're gonna pull this through to finish that half double crochet. We're gonna tie off. Then we're going to chain one, turn our work, and then we're going to do our three half double crochets. One, two, and three. We're gonna chain one, and now we're going to skip this puff stitch right here, and you can turn these back out if you want to. I just simply use my fingernails and I push them back out the other way because that's where they're wanting to be seen is from the front of your work, okay? But you can wait till later to do that. But after you chain one, we're gonna be working around these V stitches here to do our shell. So we're gonna skip this puff all together. We're gonna yarn over, we're gonna go right into this first post and we're gonna do five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then turn your work and work into the other post of the V and work five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay? And that's what it looks like right there. And then you're going to repeat that. And all these V stitches, you're going to chain one. You're gonna skip this puff. And then you're gonna be working into the V stitch again. Yarn over, go into the post like this and around it. And you're gonna work five half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and five. Turn your work, and in this one, again, five half double crochets around this post. Five, then chain one, skip this puff. I'm gonna go ahead and push it out.
and then work around these posts here doing the five half double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. And then turn our work and work around this post. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, and then you would chain one, skip this last puff stitch, and then do your three half double crochets. So one, two, and three. Okay, so you've worked your three half double crochets and that's what it looks like. And as you can see, those puff stitches are popping forward to the front, all right? So now we're going to, again, I'm gonna undo this last half double crochet because I want to bring my white in now. So I'm gonna pull that back up. I'm gonna cut off the purple. And then I'm gonna bring in the white. Okay, so bring in my white right here, turn over my work. Do a knot to bring that in. And then we're going to chain one and turn our work. And now as you can see, we have four shell-like stitches and then we have three, okay? So now going back this way, we're going to need four of those V stitches to work into, not three. So that's really the main difference in these. So you're gonna go right into your first stitch here, work your half double crochet do a half double crochet in the next, and a half double crochet in the next. But instead of skipping and jumping over, now at this point right here, in between the, these three half double crochets and this shell stitch, you're going to work a V stitch. You're gonna go right in, but first you're going to chain two, so chain two, go right into the spot right here and work a half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet, okay? Then you're going to chain two, and then in this spot right here, where our shell, I mean, yeah, our shell is, we're going to put a puff stitch. So do five double crochets, one, two, three, four, and five. Pull up. Go into your first stitch, put your hook through, put that loop back onto your hook and pull through for a puff stitch. Chain two, and then you're gonna do just like you did before in the other row, you're going to work your V stitch around this space right here in between these two shells. So we're going to do a half double crochet, chain two, and a half double crochet. And then chain two, and then in our next space, we're going to work five double crochet. One, two, three, four, and five. Then pull up, go into your first stitch, put the loop back on, go through, and chain two again. And then in this space right here, you're going to work another V stitch. So a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. And then in your next stitch, you're going to work another puff stitch. So I'm going to not forget to chain two, and then I'm going to put five double crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're gonna pull up your loop, go into this first stitch right here, put the loop back on your hook, and then pull through. So as of right now, we have three Vs. We have one, two, and three. So we need one more. So we're gonna go into this space right here in between the shell and there are three half double crochets. We're going to chain two 
And then we're gonna go right in here and we're going to work our V stitch. So we're gonna go in and put a half double crochet, chain two, and another half double crochet. Then you're going to chain two again. And in these last three stitches, you're going to put your half double crochet. One, two, and then three. But instead of finishing, I'm gonna bring my purple back in. Okay, so as you can see, that's your row repeat, all right? So what you would do now is you would come back in and you would work these shells right along into these V stitches like I already showed you how to do. Okay, so you would come back in with the purple. Don't forget to chain one in between everything on this row. And you would put a shell stitch here, a shell stitch here, a shell stitch here and a shell stitch here and do you see then they would be offset and then you would not forget to chain one in between everything and do your half double crochets then after you did that row you would come back and instead of doing four of these you would do three so that's just the difference in those rows and it turns out absolutely beautiful i hope you like this pattern if you need any help or anything with it at all you can find me all over the place you can find me Obviously right here on YouTube, you can comment and I try to get back to everyone that I possibly can. You can also email me, you can find me on Facebook below, you can find me on TikTok, you can find me on Instagram and I encourage you to go on there and also um, follow me and, and like my stuff. I really appreciate it. I love to see you guys' work as well. If you wanna send me any finished work, I really enjoy that and oftentimes I will share your work on Facebook or Instagram because I really enjoy seeing it. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you again soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.